What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Life is Strange Remastered Edition, episode number 25 with me, Game of New Blitz. Keep going. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Right. Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It you is go, kind Chloe. of nasty. Plus, some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. Stella, that's what they're here for. Hey, Stella. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Thanks, Stella. Let's go. This cannot be actually allowed. They're doing a crazy drinking party in the school pool. Like, there's no way this can actually be allowed. Have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know. I'm I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale break. I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, the more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I was talking to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. 
Check to see if you can fly. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Let's hope there's a uh, next week. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. You didn't even try to talk to her, so how are you going to find out <laughs> without asking? You can't go Justin that way. Said somebody saw two moons outside, <laughs> hey, Luke. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not going to do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. But for helping Kate. And for keeping it real! Peace out! I'm surprised I'm not on Nathan's list for it. I got you, Alyssa. I got you. I'm surprised to see you here. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Wait, can I talk to her some more? Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kind of are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. Can we talk anymore? Yes. I you s Look at this. <laughs> I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. <laughs> I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. 
I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Is that naive? Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. They'll find some new Blackwell drama and forget about her video. So it goes. No doubt. Um, but I actually have to go now. I'll talk to you later, Alyssa. Bye, Alyssa. All right. <laughs> Other old bands like did it, did it, did it, did it. What up, bouncer? I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Yes, you do suck. Glow sticks. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? True. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, okay. but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. This punk. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Courtney. Coming, Courtney. Hold up. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> You're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, uh... Oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Yeah, you're off the list permanently. Uh, get out of here. Let's go into the curtain. I'm sure nothing bad will happen in here. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Thank you so much for coming by, Max. You lifted my heart. Kate, I was so happy to see your smile again. You mean so much to me and so many others. I have to go, but I also wanted to say I have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He brought me some school books and give him a hug for me. I will. It's fun. Come hang with us. We need our hero. She's wasted and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Jesus. A bomb. Give me a break. Everybody here all fuzzy. What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, look. Up in the sky, it's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? <laughs> you want a hit? No. I want to find Nathan. Me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope at the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here, or you can sit down and take a quick hit. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun, 
Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Yeah. Only fun. What up, Taylor? Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother-sister. Or something. She really cares about him. Is this why you want to be in the Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm, like, far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan. So you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I, I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Got you, Taylor. Everyone will love me. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Probably. Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty. <laughs> oh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Business. He should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen me. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want to see me? <laughs> so cute. We never really talk. Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. <laughs> Logan, don't make me hurt. Damn. That was way more exciting than a dance. Catch you later, Max. Fucking Logan, man. <laughs> Give you a touchdown. Oh. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party. Everybody is wasted. What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you made. 
hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Oh, F. Go for it. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Well, wait a Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria. Maybe. I'm glad I won't. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich and a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. You're killing it, Trevor. Don't, don't let him tell you what. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. Yes, you're great, Trevor. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. No more bars. DJ. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. Oh my. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge porn or something. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. Right. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. 
Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <sighs> I hate feeling this way. Dark and angry. Dark and angry. They're getting it over there. All right, Chloe, what's up? There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. I don't know if we could have entered the thing or not. I'm not sure. And I assume no, but... Okay, okay. Everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look... I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. <laughs> she is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Let's do it. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Double moon. This is to remind me of Arcadia Base taking Doomsday Clock. I actually saw two moons in the sky over the horizon, or that's what it looked like briefly before the clouds rolled over. I squinted and actually rubbed my eyes like a dork just to make sure my iris wasn't foggy. It's another sign of an environmental illusion. Other people saw it too. Except Chloe didn't see anything besides vengeance. She went into the gym looking for Nathan before he could catch up. Nathan doesn't know what he's running out of time. Two, no irony intended. We are. My first and last vortex club party. 
Flashing lights and DJ Doom, no comment. Spinning in an alternate reality, I might have been at this party, standing in the corner, shy and nervous, waiting for somebody to ask me to dance, but being terrified if that happened. And that would have been the limits of my problems. Now look at me. But I had to find Chloe first, then Nathan before she shot him. No matter how evil I thought Victoria was, she's actually just a terribly insecure person with talent, passion, and a tendency to be a cruel dick for no good reason. I have to see beyond our pretty, petty, mean girl drama and assume she has a role to play in all this too. So we talked like human beings and I warned her with the specifics. Without specifics about Nathan, she believed me and it felt so warm to make a connection with my previous enemy of silver light and all of this darkness. Let there be more. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace! Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. If you want to see more, check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace!